guys, Mark Absalon here. Hope you're having a great and wonderful day. Well, you know we've talked about Chroma Key. We've talked about how to set up your Chroma Key lighting, the basic setup, where you can purchase Chroma Key stuff like the green screen behind me and uh, blue screen and everything from those guys at Tube Tape. Well, we need to talk about editing programs and what you can actually use to edit your Chroma Key video with. There's so many different programs out there that are just non-linear editing programs. There's Avid, Vegas, Pinnacle, uh, Premiere, uh, gee, just so many, Final Cut Pro. The, the, and then I know I'm leaving several off too, but all of those programs have a Chroma Key effect. The guys at TubeTape.com were nice enough to send me a copy of Vision Lab. Vision Lab is a combination program. It's got a, a um, chroma key program in it. It's got an effects program. It's got this great uh, uh, lighting engine, which is only available in Vision Lab, along with all these different effects that you can apply over your video to give it a nice film-like type look. But um, what I thought we would do is we talk about two different programs in Vision Lab. Composite Lab, which is a specific um, chroma key base program, and Effects Lab. And we're going to talk about a photography program too called Photo Key. The first program we're going to talk about is Composite Lab. Now, Composite Lab is a specifically based chroma key program. This program um, it's kind of like your nonlinear editing program uh, chroma key effect, but on steroids. This, this program will actually key stuff out that I can not key out in my nonlinear editing program. So it's, it's a really awesome chroma key program. The second program we're going to talk about is something called Effects Lab. Now, if you're doing a low budget film and you need an effects program, you need something like a muzzle flash or a lightsaber type thing or a meteor flying through the sky, this is the program to actually look at. It's pretty cheap, reasonable priced, and you can do some amazing effects with it. Now the last program we're going to look at is called Photo Key. And if you're doing photography and you're using Chroma Key and um, you're just starting out, Photo Key is the way to go because Photo Key is a very simple and easy program to use. And you can key out blue and green and it's just a really great program for keying photography. Well, we've opened Vision Labs and you'll see a little screen that'll say new project, uh, blank timeline, select movie, etc. But what we're going to do is just show a basic example of how to use this. So we'll click select movie. And we've got a whole bunch of clips here that I've done in Chroma Key, so we'll collect one of those. And it's in uh, NTC, NTSC widescreen, and it is progressive, so we'll click OK to that. And give it a second to load here, and it'll pop up, and there I am in all my Chroma Key glory. Since this is a very basic example of how to use the Chroma Key function on Composite Lab, what you'll want to do is go down to the corner and click on the tab that says Matt. Underneath Matt, you'll see uh, Key. You, what you do is you click Key, and you'll see up in the corner a whole bunch of little options that'll come up. Alpha Crop, Chroma Key, Contrast, uh, oh geez, just a whole bunch of them. Value, Noise, Levels different ways you can actually do chroma key using this program there's the actual chroma key and the keys and there's also enhancers that you can use to enhance the effect the great thing about this program is some of the things you can do with movies uh, and your lighting doesn't have to be perfect for chroma key on this program which is, I found the most useful what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna show you how to use the actual chroma key and what you'll do is you'll click chroma key oops I clicked it twice let me delete one you can delete by going over to the side toggle and you'll see cut and everything and you can just delete one now all the chroma key effects are turned off um, on this so you'll need to activate them but the way to actually key the color that you're going to do is you can click the eyedropper tool which is over in the corner 
go over to the uh, the actual color you're wanting to key out and voila you've got it and to turn it on you'll see the little red toggle underneath you'll click that and it will turn it on now as you can see we don't have the actual desired effect on this sometimes using just the chroma key key on this uh, um, program doesn't work that great but we're gonna go over another way to do it here in just a second another thing on this program that works a lot better than the actual chroma key um, the chroma key effect is something called the color difference we've removed our chroma key effect that we did a minute ago but the color difference is actually more geared toward a specific color rather than the actual chroma key which is you need really perfect footage to actually get it out so if you use the color difference let's, let's add that right now you'll get a more crisp and even chroma key removal now as you can see here it's very specific on what it removes red green or blue the black point and the white point are kind of the adjusting adjusting range where you can remove your background here There we go and we're keyed out entirely the thing about this whole program composite lab is it's kind of like your nonlinear editors um, chroma key effect on steroids because of what it can key out and what it can take care of let's go ahead and remove this scout spur but something that you're going to probably use quite a bit on this program is something called the erode white and what that does is it actually takes some of the alpha channel off and what you can do now is actually add a little bit of a blur to that uh, let's see actually not that much take it up about two two or three yeah, there's four that's fine and then we get a uh, get a nice image now the road white actually works well if you've got pretty bad um, chroma key and your lighting isn't that great so you can actually erode some of the alpha channel off so you don't actually get that green. Some of the other effects on here are invert, you've got levels and you can also sharpen it and you can also add some of the uh, other stuff here too if you've got like an explosion going on behind or something like that. Well now we need to add an effect behind it and that's a pretty simple job. All you do is you go up to file, click import media, we're going to import ectoplasm and it's imported it into our media file which is located over on the left of your screen you click the media tab and you'll see we've got ectoplasm there and to actually bring that into the track all you do is you drag it down and put it underneath the track that we've already created so we've got our chroma keyed out subject and we've got our track behind it and we've showed you how to actually add um, and use the chromie key effect in composite lab that's a part of vision vision labs now not only does vision labs do great chroma key with composite lab vision labs also has another program in it called effects lab which gives you um, a nice and uh, just it's a some kind of sometimes over, overwhelming array of effects special effects to use on your video to actually find the effects you'll go up to the corner click the effects tab you'll see great object muzzle flashes which you can do muzzle flashes on uh, firearms um, you can do a neon light which is uh, kind of like the you know uh, neon light saber wars uh, you can do different optics and you can also add particles and you've got a ton of different presets that you can use for this now you'll notice at the top too there's an effects duration that actually tells you how long it's going to um, occur on the clip and you can go into these presets on all of these different ones and actually um, edit them and tweak them because you'll some of this stuff you'll have to be doing frame by frame on your subject and then you output it. So if you're looking for a program that actually does really great special effects and has tutorials online that can help you with it, um, the FX Home Vision Labs Effects Lab is a, is a great program.
Another program you can use to actually key photographs is a program called Photo Key. This uh, allows you to remove green screen, blue screen from a background of an individual in photography. This program can be found on tubetape.com. It's, it's pretty easy to set up. First off, you've got your foreground, and that's your image that you want um, that's going to have the green screen in it. So you click the foreground, and let's choose a photograph here. There we go. We'll choose this one. And you can see it's a little big. The way to bring that down is just bring down the zoom so we can actually see it a little bit better. There we go. And we want to change the canvas size. Let's change it to 11 by 14. And let's also make it a landscape. There we go. And we can see that we've got our... You can, you know, well, you can notice too on this too, it didn't key out all the green screen. There's an easy way to do this. What we'll do is we'll click key and go over to our details or our detail under color difference key. And what we'll do is we'll just kind of bring that down. And as you can see, everything has been keyed out now. But we do we do have some jagged edges around our subject. So let's uh, let's add a little bit of a more of a blur to that. So it's not quite as bad. There we go. Six pixels, yeah, that looks good. Well, we've set our foreground, and now we gotta set our background because we've keyed out all the stuff uh, from the green screen that was behind me here in the photograph. Well, to do that, we'll click import again. You'll notice the background will come up on, uh, on your right-hand side. Click change, and just pull an image that you would like to have in the background. Let's go ahead and do this one. There we go, I'm standing behind a video camera. Well, we've got our two images here together. Now, we can add different positions where you want it to sit, the scale, etc., etc. We, You can combine stuff, the light spillage, um, make things kind of match up a little bit better, make it transparent. You can do a lot of different things with uh, photographs in this. But once you're finished and you know what you have, you can either click print to print it up or you can export it. And you can export as a PNG, you can export as a JPEG, or you can export as a TIFF. Well guys, we've talked about some of the programs that you can use to actually uh, do chroma key with, both photography and video. And we've talked about an effects program. It's good to have a non-linear editing program like Avid, Sony, Pinnacle, Adobe, all those. It's great to have one, but if you're looking for something specifically for Chroma Key, Composite Lab or the combination of Vision Lab with the effects and also the gradients and the lighting engine and stuff is, is the way to go. Well, I hope you found this video informative and useful. And um, if you have any questions about any of these programs, just shoot me over an email and I'll be happy to answer them for you. But guys, I've got a lot of editing to do and uh, a lot of stuff to catch up on. So you guys have a great evening and night and I will see you later and there's more stuff on the way.